What's up guys and girls, Raj here. Just wanted to share a couple of big updates from my end. So AWS reInvent is happening November 28th to December 2nd in Las Vegas, USA. Uh, this is the biggest cloud conference with uh, 55,000 people attending on site and hundreds of thousands of people uh, watching the stream worldwide. So very humbled to say that uh, my topic has been selected. So I will be one of the speakers. So I wanted to go through quickly my topic as well as how you can register. So this is the official session catalog for reInvent. And my topic is using serverless and container services for public sector applications. Even though uh, it says public sector applications, uh, if you are commercial organizations, you can definitely attend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, compare Lambda, ECS, EKS, and Fargate, uh, especially different design factors such as scalability, resiliency, cost optimization, open source, etc., and see how some design decisions can change based on your priority. So if you want to make your application uh, highly scalable or burstable, or if you want to make your application more open source, uh, you want your application um, to be fully resilient, but you don't want to manage all that stuff yourself, uh, underlying resource configuration, uh, etc. So when uh, we architects design a system, there are multiple decision criteria, right? Uh, we have our well-architected framework. Beyond that, the organizations might have specific uh, design requirements. So I wanted to show you how each of this requirement change the design and what service is good for what and when can you mix and match. Uh, so it's a chalk talk, it's meant to be very interactive. Uh, so you can ask me any question if you're attending there. Uh, so this is a 300 level advanced uh, session. And uh, as you could see, the speaker uh, is uh, me. So the talk will happen on Thursday, December 1st. And the time is 2.45 p.m. to 3.45 p.m. If you are indeed attending a reInvent, you can go register for this talk. Even if you're not attending this session, but maybe you want to come say hi to me, that's totally fine as well. If you see me around, feel free to stop me. I'm always happy to chat with you guys uh, and take pictures, whatever, right? Uh, nothing makes me more happy uh, than to chat with other folks. And uh, if, you, if you tell me something that you are struggling with, you want my input, happy to chat. All right, so that's the number one news. A second news is uh, I am also selected to talk in KubeCon North America. So this is the most prestigious conference for Kubernetes. It is the biggest conference on Kubernetes. Uh, so this year it's happening on uh, Detroit, Michigan in USA. Uh, so my talk will be on Kubernetes cost optimization. So if I go to uh, AWS on KubeCon and I search my name, uh, so you could see I'm, I'm talking on cost optimization uh, of Kubernetes workload. It's at two o'clock to three o'clock on Thursday, October 27 uh, in AWS booth. Uh, so beyond your regular request limits that you can tune to optimize your cost, which we'll go over, uh, but I'm also gonna talk about how can you tune your auto scaling, some networking uh, parameters to and some more to optimize your uh, Kubernetes cost. So again, the same thing, it's totally fine if you don't want to attend the session. And if you if you want to say hi to me or chat with me, uh, feel free to stop me. Always happy to uh, say hi and chat. Now, third news is uh, I am also doing a public webinar from AWS on how to modernize public sector applications using serverless and containers. So I wrote a high level blog on uh, how can serverless help you modernize your application as well as how can you build modern applications with container. Uh, so this has some useful use cases. Uh, so you can take a look and at the bottom, this is the important part, I go over the blog, but at the bottom is the webinar series when, where I will be presenting with other SMEs in the area. So this is the webinar series free to attend. So unlike reInvent and KubeCon, uh, they both have a ticket price, but this is free to attend. Uh, you can click this webinar series and it's going to take you and you can register yourself. So this will be a two part uh, series. So one, the, there are three sessions, but the two I am doing are shifting to event driven architectures. So I'm going to present with a principal uh, serverless uh, solutions architect of from AWS, Dhiraj. Uh, so if you're interested in that, register for that. 
Uh, and I'm also presenting on migrating containers to managed services. So I'm going to go over ECS, EKS, best practices, use cases, etc. So I am also speaking with another principal containers essay, Aaron. Uh, both of them, Aaron and Dhiraj, highly respected guy. I'm very humble to work with them and learn from them. Uh, so yeah, so this one, like I said, is free. You can go uh, select it and you can watch it. And I don't know, maybe you will have the recording as well if you register. But yeah, check out the blog. I'll give all the links uh, on my description for reInvent, KubeCon, as well as this uh, webinar. Last thing, holidays are coming. So this is middle of October. Uh, so generally this is when uh, the project uh, work pressure goes down because no one wants to release new changes during the holidays and break things. So take advantage of this time. Don't just relax and drink and sleep, right? Relax a little bit, but also uh, skill up. Uh, this is the time where I already identified a couple of things that I want to study and skill up. So if you are someone who is looking to change jobs, uh, trying to go for interviews, because February, March, April is the a busiest time for interviewing all the companies higher because their budget gets approved December, January. So give it your best for learning for next two and a half months. Now on that note, uh, I have a bunch of discounts going on on my best selling courses. So if you're interested, you want to support me, my channel, feel free to go and check my courses out. But if not, no worries. I love you guys and girls anyway. All right. So those are the couple big things I wanted to share. Uh, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Bye.